Student of the Year, Chelsea Ray Huggins. Chelsea was an 18-year-old cosmetology student when she sustained a spinal cord injury in an accident. This is an absolute honor and an achievement that would have not been attainable if it weren't for the awesome op um, opportunities that our state has to offer, in particularly um, vocational rehab and the Alabama Department of Rehabilitation Services. Initially, I, I kind of was just not really sure. I just kind of was just going with the flow, you know, whatever I have to do, I'll do. And then once I was home, um, I'd say it took about two years to really kind of get most of the information I needed as to what I could do to become more independent. She's always positive about everything. I mean, um, given the circumstances, I don't know how she stays so positive, but she's always looking forward to what she can do next um, and how she can better herself. Initially, you're like, oh, well, I can't do anything anymore, but that's obviously not the case. And so they ask what your interests were prior to your injury so that they can help you to learn how to do them post-injury. There's been so many obstacles, but she finds a way. She, she perseveres. Um, I'm amazed to watch her paint. I really didn't really get into painting that much until probably the following year. And at the time, my arms were pretty weak, and so I was like, well, I may actually be better off using a mouthpiece. And so I tried it, and I painted a flower, and that it wasn't the best flower by any means, but it let me know that I could do it. So I went up to my room, and I was like a kid bragging to my mom, because I was like, look what I did. And so ever since then, it's been something that I can do. There have been a few times that maybe per se when she does a painting or when I've watched her on a video or been away from her it's like I'm outside of the box and, and I can see her like with a different set of eyes and then you know that is awesome. In 2013 I had some surgeries that made me more independent and then once I recovered from those that's when I really got on the ball with going back to school and with driving. They um, got her in to see a doctor about um, tendon transfers um, on both of her arms, which would it, uh, help her to be able to drive a vehicle. They told her she could drive, get a vehicle, and she, we were all like, what? No way. But it was like, oh, wow, you can do this. And so, I don't know, I guess since then I've been able to do so much that surgery alone on both arms, of course, has just allowed me. I don't think that without it, I would even be able to drive. So it's just enabled me to do a lot more than I could do initially. We actually did um, adaptive driver's training. So basically that was helping her learn, first figuring out what modifications she might need to a vehicle to be able to drive, and then providing the services to her so she can have those modifications, and then also helping her learn how to drive that vehicle I think I really just wanted independence uh, more than anything and we didn't even have a wheelchair accessible vehicle so I was like well this would be a way for me to be able to get in the vehicle with my chair and then also just be able to transport myself from place to place. And so while I was training I had already signed the paperwork for my truck and they began modifying it. And then I can also do voice commands, but they don't really pick up my accent that well, so I kind of just stick to being able to press the buttons instead. She first started um, contemplating going to school. I think they let her know just all the different things she could do. And I actually want to do my major in rehabilitation for grad school, so hopefully I may be a rehabilitation counselor one day. I think she'll continue to work with us. I know she has plans to go into grad school, so we're gonna look at trying to help with that. Um, and then from there, helping her obtain employment in the field that she chooses. Well, I'd really just like to see her attain her goals. I mean, that is the ultimate because she's just done so, so very well. Because of CRS, I was able to gain more abilities to reach the independence that I desired. And then with VR and ADRS, I've been able to do everything since then, whether it be in-home independence, um, being able to drive, going to school. So everything that I'm doing today is because of them. Uh, it's been pretty amazing to actually watch her be able to go from not knowing for sure what she wants to do with her life to actually on how to drive, 
uh, and move forward with going to college and she's actually about to graduate and looking at going to grad school so it's been a pretty awesome experience. I mean you know she doesn't get down and out, um, life goes on and she has goals and I mean I, I'm beyond proud. Um, I think that what got me through was um, a quote I found online that says give someone something to do someone to love and something to hope for. If you do those three things, I think that it will help you get through whatever obstacles you'll face. So for me, it was obviously painting was my something to do initially. And then something to hope for has been going to school because it definitely gives me something to look forward to because it's gonna open up a lot of opportunities for me, I do feel. And then someone to love, I have my family. So they're very supportive and without them, I doubt I'd have made it this far.